Now, there's no shortage of games that you can play for free, but finding the ones that are worth your time is an entirely different story. I've got some new additions as well as some changes to some old MMOs that might make them worth revisiting in 2024. Sometimes we want to play a new game, but we don't want to drop $60 on it just to find out it's garbage. If you can relate to that, here are some games that you can get hundreds of hours in without spending a dime. Some of these are completely free to play and some might be considered more of free to try. And I'll tell you which is which so that as we go through the list, you can make an informed decision for yourself. First up, we have Albion Online. Albion Online is a fantasy sandbox MMORPG and is something a little different. It was released in 2017 and is available on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. And it is, of course, free to play. Albion is a full loot PvP MMO. So adrenaline junkies, pay attention to this one. It has tons of PvE content if you're into it, and it does a fantastic job of mixing PvP events into PvE environments. Don't worry if you don't like PvP content when you log in. The game does have some PvE content where you are safe from other players, but I wouldn't call this the focus of the game. Fortunately, if you lose a full loot PvP fight, it's not too terribly difficult to recover from them. Most players are only running around with gear that's maybe worth 1% of their net worth. Once you've been looted by an enemy, all you have to do is go and buy replacement gear, and the game's made the process incredibly simple by making it easy and letting you save loadouts so that you can repurchase your last loadout with the click of a single button. The game features a pretty massive progression tree where the more that you use something, the more you level it up and unlock things down the branch of the tree. The game has a healthy and active population and a very dynamic world that encourages players to head to specific areas and team up or fight against each other or both. If you're enjoying the game, you can choose to get some quality of life and increase progression speed by subscribing to the game for $12 a month. Just be aware the subscription is per character and it's not account wide. So if you get a subscription, make sure to do so on the character you intend on playing. On the bright side, if you'd like to keep the game free to play, you can do that and buy the subscription with in-game currency. This is of course going to take quite a bit of in-game grinding to pull off. If you're looking for something different and high stakes that feels like a MOBA and an MMO merged into one beautiful creature, Albion Online might be a great choice for you. Next up, we have Neverwinter. Neverwinter is an action combat MMO released in 2013. It's available on Windows, Xbox, and PlayStation, but it's not cross-platform, so you and your friends would need to purchase the game on the same platform. It features voice acted quests and really solid combat. This is another MMO where you can play the entire game game for free. No content is locked behind purchases or subscription, but the game is pretty pay to win these days. The game allows you to spend money to speed up your progress and solve problems that it created, your normal free to play cash shop affair. Neverwinter is an official Dungeons and Dragons game, so it takes place inside of that world. The end game is known for being an astronomical grind, almost never ending. Fortunately for new players, there's a lot of catch up mechanics that help new players get caught up to the players that have been playing the game for years. The population is not huge, but it's enough to not feel alone. So if you want a Dungeons and Dragons style MMO that can be played completely for free, check out Neverwinter. Next up, we have Lord of the Rings Online. Lord of the Rings Online released in 2007, and in 2010, the game went from being a subscription-based game to being free to play. Lord of the Rings' biggest mistake was probably launching three years after World of Warcraft, while World of Warcraft was in its prime. Lord of the Rings Online is a classic theme park MMO. It's got a respectable Lord of the Rings-inspired story with some really solid voice acting. It's not massively popular, but it's alive enough for you to enjoy it. In order to have access to all of the game's races and classes, you'll have to spend some money. Money. You can choose to sub to the game for 15 bucks a month in order to get extra things like extra inventory space and extra quests. If you want a fun little trip down nostalgia lane and a classic MMO experience that you can enjoy without spending a dime, maybe try Lord of the Rings Online. Next up, we have Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV had a disastrous launch in 2010, so it destroyed its world and relaunched the game in 2013. This time around, it's much more successful. But first, while you're trying to figure out what MMO to boot up next, let's talk about a game that you can play right now for free. Omni Heroes is a heroic fantasy casual strategy RPG and has received recommendations from both Google Play and Apple's App Store. As Omni Guardians, players are called upon to rescue captive Valkyries from demons and fight together against evil threatening the world. Players can summon forth legendary heroes, unlock multiple synergies, and match hundreds of team comps at will. When you are tired, treat yourself to rest and let the automated mechanics take over. Drop in whenever you like to claim the rewards they've earned for you. With nifty, quick battle tricks up your sleeve, you can even skip battles effortlessly. Omni Heroes is gearing up for an exciting 
exciting season one on January 12th. Mark your calendars, get ready for an electrifying experience and a captivating new storyline, roguelike dungeon gameplay, and guild vs guild mode. Only through united efforts and seizing opportunities can you become the ultimate victors of Clash Domain. New characters include Elmer, a tank, Althea, a warrior, Gloria, a warrior, and Sandra, another tank. Seize this opportunity to download the game and claim 777 times three free summons, welcoming five legendary heroes into your roster within the first week. Massive thank you to Omni Heroes for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Thanks for listening. Now let's get back to the video. Final Fantasy 14 is an RPG first and an MMO second, and there's tons of story packed into this MMO, but don't mistake that for meaning that there isn't a lot of group content as well. Despite its focus on the story content, it still has much more group content than almost any other MMO on this list. Final Fantasy 14 is available on PC, Mac, PlayStation, and finally, after years and years of waiting, Final Fantasy 14 will be releasing on the Xbox in the spring of 2024, or at least that's the plan. Now, it's worth noting that Final Fantasy 14 is not entirely free, but the first 70 levels and the first two expansions are, including their dungeons, the raids, the trials, the entire story through that point. Now, that's a ton of content. It's the entire base game and its first two expansions, all for free. Beyond that, you can level up all of the classes that are available along the way. So you're looking at easily hundreds, if not thousands of hours of content in the free to play portion of Final Fantasy 14. There are restrictions on your account to prevent gold sellers from destroying the economy with free accounts, but despite that, it's a very generous free trial. Final Fantasy 14 is probably the most traditional MMO on this list, featuring the trinity of tank, healer, and DPS, and absolutely no pay to win. The class you pick determines the role you fill. If you pick a Dark Knight, you're a tank, and if you pick a Black Mage, you're a damage dealer. The one downside to this game for free to play players is that if you do enjoy the game and you want to play the rest of it, it's going to cost you 60 bucks to buy the game's complete edition, which does include all of the expansions. And then after that, you're going to have to also pick up the subscription, which is going to cost you 13 bucks a month. But before you get to that point, you can play this game for hundreds, if not thousands of hours for completely free. So not a bad deal. Next up, we have Guild Wars 2, one of the best MMOs on this list. This is a AAA free-to-play MMO with minimal pay to win, a combination of things that is nearly unheard of. Guild Wars 2 originally launched back in 2012, and it's available on PC. It will let you play the first 80 levels for free, including all job stories and base game zones. This can easily work out to hundreds or even thousands of hours of content. The game does not require a sub, and it doesn't even have an optional sub. So if you do enjoy the game, you can choose to buy the expansions to unlock some of the game's new and coolest content and features, but after that, you don't have to spend another dime. Guild Wars 2 does not feature your typical trinity of tank, damage dealer, and healer, but does allow players to build towards specs that kind of allow them to fill those roles partially. One strength of Guild Wars 2 definitely lies in its fully voice acted main story, which has not only the NPCs you interact with being voice acted, but also your character as well. This makes for a story experience few MMOs can rival. One of the strengths of Guild Wars 2 will be its incredible mount system and glider system. It's pretty much universally accepted that Guild Wars 2 does mounts better than any other MMO due to the way the mounts handle and the fact that you can upgrade them and unlock improvements in things such as their jump height, their jump distance, reduced fall damage, and plenty more. Blizzard was so impressed by Guild Wars 2's mount system that it implemented them into WoW's Dragonflight expansion. If you decide you enjoy the base game, I definitely recommend purchasing the expansions to take advantage of some of the amazing mounts and gliders, although they did make it so that you can now have access to the game's first mount as part of the base game. The monetization of this game after the free trial is incredible incredibly fair, as it is buy once and play forever with absolutely no subscription. You can even choose to use in-game currency to purchase cash shop currency to buy cosmetics and things like that without spending any real money. Guild Wars 2 is being actively supported by the developers and recently released its Secrets of the Obscure expansion. If you hate paying for a subscription in MMOs, or if you're looking for a highly polished free-to-play Western MMO that is not bogged down with the levels of pay to win that typically accompany free-to-play titles, Guild Wars 2 is a great option for you. Next up, speaking of beta win, Lost Ark. Launched in 2019 in Korea, with the Western launch in 2022. Lost Ark is available on PC. Unlike many of the free-to-play options here, Lost Ark will actually let you play the entire game for free. Now, as usually is the case with games that you can play for completely free, the cash shop is filled to the brim with pay to win, but as far as completely free-to-play games go, not many can currently compete with this behemoth in terms of the amount of quality content that you have access to for absolutely free. 
The game has an optional sub that is basically a pay to advance faster while getting a little bit of quality of life. You can purchase the subscription with in-game currency if you wish, or you can buy it with a credit card swipe. The game does not feature the trinity of tank healer and DPS, but instead relies on every player to be responsible for themselves. Though there is a class that somewhat feels like a tank, and there are some more that somewhat feel like healers. Lost Ark has been bleeding large portions of its player base since its launch, but it is still one of the most popular MMOs for now. One upside to Lost Ark is that since it's one of the youngest games games on this list, it's safe to say that it's still being actively supported by the developers, and it will be for some time. If you do play Lost Ark as a free-to-play player, making progress at decent speed in the late game will require you to create alts to do the dailies and then funnel those materials to your main. If you're okay with progressing a little slower or making a ton of alts, you can enjoy this game without spending a dime. So if you're looking for an isometric top-down MMO ARPG that feels a little like Diablo and BDO had a baby, then Lost Ark is a great option for you. Next up we have Old School RuneScape. Old School RuneScape launched in 2013 based on a 2007 version of the game. And if all of that's confusing, don't worry, it doesn't matter. You can play RuneScape for free on PC, Mac, and mobile. The game does feature an optional monthly sub for $11 a month. However, if you want to play for completely free, you can buy that sub with in-game currency. It's just going to take a bit of farming. So this is an MMO that you can play 100% of the game without spending a dime. The free-to-play version of the game contains a decent amount of content, but if you enjoy the game, that sub that you can buy with cash or with in-game currency will unlock a boatload of expansion content that will increase the size of the game tenfold. This doesn't mean the base game is small, just that they've been adding a lot of content to this base game for a very long time. Once again, Old School RuneScape does not feature the trinity of tank healer and dps but instead is more of a rock paper scissors approach where melee ranged and magic classes are strong against one or weak against the other old school runescape is one of the largest mmos in the world thanks in large part to its accessibility and unique position in the category and is still actively supported by the developers the game is free and doesn't feature any microtransactions other than its optional sub which you can buy with in-game currency if you want to so if you want that super old school feeling mmo where you level something by doing that thing this might be the perfect one for you. Also, if you haven't upgraded your PC since 2007, this is definitely an MMO that you could run on that toaster you're using. Next up, we've got Genshin Impact. Launched in 2020, Genshin Impact is another game on this list that you can actually play the entire game for free without having to pay for expansions or subscriptions. Now, that's not to say that this game isn't aggressively monetized, but if you've got the determination and the willpower, you can get thousands of hours of entertainment out of this game without spending a single dime. They will let you do that. You can play Genshin Impact Impact on PC, PlayStation, iOS, and Android. Genshin isn't your typical MMORPG. I'd say it's more comparable to a co-opable Zelda Breath of the Wild. You can play it solo, and most likely that's how you'll spend the majority of your time, but it does let you group to take down bosses with other players. The game's vibrant landscapes littered with puzzles make it fun and relaxing to explore. If you're looking for a game where you can play the entire game and not just a free trial, and if you don't mind gotcha mechanics, Genshin Impact could be the next game for you to try for free. Next up, we have Warframe, which is kind of an MMO, kind of not. It was launched in 2013. It's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. While Warframe isn't exactly what I would call your typical MMORPG, it does feature a lot of MMO elements such as exploration, group play, quests, classes, and weapon and gear progression. And it's actually a really high quality, free to play game that you can play without spending a dime. Warframe is completely free to play. Not only do you not have to buy it, but there's also no subscription. If you've ever wanted to be a Space Ninja, look no further. Plus, you will unlock a spaceship that will act as your hub. After that, you'll also unlock and upgrade more Warframes as you play through the game. There are many, many Warframes, each one acting like a new class might in a traditional MMO. The game does not feature a tank, healer, or DPS, but instead has a lot of classes that can kill a lot of things really well. The story in this game is pretty good, but where it excels is in its fluid and fast-paced combat. It just feels amazing. It has a healthy population as it's one of the most popular games on this list today, and it's still receiving massive content updates every year. Once again, this game is 100% free to play, every single bit of it. So if you want to jump from planet to planet doing Space Ninja things, if you want to enjoy some of the smoothest feeling combat out there of any game on this list, if you're burned out on the typical MMO recipe, Warframe might be the change that you need. By the way, if you enjoy MMO content, consider leveling up that like and sub button right now for more quality MMO content.
Next up, we've got EVE Online. EVE Online launched in 2003. It's available on PC and Mac. It can be played for free, but it does offer a sub to unlock some quality of life options, as well as the ability to unlock some of the spaceships sooner. So this game's gonna be a real big grind without that sub. Unfortunately, this optional sub is the most expensive one I've come by at $20 a month. It's gonna be pretty steep for a lot of players. You can purchase your sub with in-game currency if you would prefer to go that route, making it possible to play this game and have it sub for free. EVE Online is more of a space exploration and a spaceship building simulator, so you will use fleets instead of your typical tank, healer, and DPS setup. In EVE, players form their own alliances and then go battle for control of the most valuable portions of the universe. When your ship is destroyed, it does not respawn, so you'll have to build it again. This keeps the stakes high in these battles and the adrenaline flowing. Despite its age, EVE Online is still fairly popular, thanks to the fact that there's still nothing else out there that's like it. The game is still actively supported by the developers which means there's plenty for new and veteran players to do. If you're looking for a spaceship building simulator with the potential to experience massive space battles, EVE Online might be a game for you to try for free. Next up, we have Star Wars The Old Republic. Launched in 2011, and like a lot of the options on this list, it's starting to show its age. It's available on PC, and it's free to play the base game and all eight of its class stories. These class stories are all unique, and each one has multiple endings that you can unlock based on the decisions that you make as you play through it. You can play a healer or a tank, though most of the content doesn't really require you to do either of those things. While SWOTOR does have group content, today it seems the best way to look at SWOTOR is as a single player story adventure. To that end, it does an excellent job. It is completely voice acted and you're able to make meaningful and impactful decisions along the way. The decisions you make can and will determine the ending that you unlock with up to three different endings for each class. You can choose to subscribe to the game for $15 a month and doing so for even just one month will unlock all of the zones in the game permanently. So if you find yourself enjoying the game, pick up the sub for one month and then cancel it and you'll have access to the entire game's content. It's worth mentioning that SWOTOR was handed off to a new developer this year, so future content additions might be lacking compared to the years past. They say the game isn't going into maintenance mode, but the size and the scope of the future expansions is going to determine the truth of that statement. If you're craving a great story or perhaps some Star Wars, or maybe you just want to kill things with a lightsaber, SWOTOR could be the perfect MMO for you to play for free. Next up we have Blade and Soul. Blade and Soul was an action combat MMO released in the West in 2014. Combat always felt good in Blade and Soul, but it was a bit grindy and pay to win for Western audiences, greatly limiting its popularity outside of the East. That said, it is free to play and could be a fun MMO to drop a few days or maybe even a few weeks into the next time you want something new to play, but you don't want to spend money. The next one we'll touch on real quickly is Maple Story. Maple Story is a free to play 2D side scrolling MMORPG developed by Wizard and published by Nexon. This is one of the games that has existed for roughly 20 years and has been incredibly popular for much of its life. It's a unique entry into the list and, and it can be enjoyed for completely free. As a result, it's chocked full of microtransactions. MapleStory has a ton of classes for you to try, which helps provide variety to the incredible grind that it offers. If you're in the mood for killing screenfuls of enemies in a 2D side scroller, maybe check out MapleStory. Next, we have Star Trek Online. Star Trek Online is another slightly different entry into the genre, originally released in 2010 as a buy to play with a required monthly subscription. In 2012, however, it relaunched with free to play, allowing it to land on this list right here. This game is available on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox and takes place 30 years after the events of Star Trek Nemesis. It features ground combat as well as space combat, but neither are lauded as particularly amazing. Still, if you're a Star Trek fan or if you're craving a Star Trek story to dive into for a few days, it might be worth downloading this free-to-play MMO. Next, we have Wizard 101. Wizard 101 is a unique free-to-play card collecting MMORPG. It was released in 2008 and it was a lot of people's gateway into the MMORPG genre. It's a available on PC and Mac. It features your usual MMORPG trimmings like combat and housing and life skills and even fishing. If you like card games or if you want to try something that's different, this free to play title could be a nice relaxing game for you to jump into next. Next up we have Dungeons and Dragons Online. This one didn't make it on the list last time but I've added it because so many of you commented on the last video saying that it should have been there. So here it is. DDO lets you play most classes for free with some of them locked behind purchase. The game has been out for a long time so it's got a ton of content, but it's also going to feel pretty old. As the name would suggest, it features dungeons and lots of them, and I would say that this is one of the game's strengths. It still does dungeons better than a lot of MMOs, despite its age. If you're craving a classic MMO experience that you can enjoy without spending a dime, this old dog might be fun to play for a bit. Next, we have Path of Exile. If you've made it this far and none of the almost 20 MMOs I've talked about have interested you, maybe it's time to switch it up and give something different a try. Sometimes a palette cleanser is 
exactly what we need, and Path of Exile is great for that. It's 100% free-to-play ARPG that monetizes fashion and convenience. It's one of the only games on this list that has absolutely no pay to win, and it gets content updates every three to four months. It's available on Windows, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac OS. It features nearly unlimited build customization and complexity, and it's always satisfying to put something together that can clear entire screenfuls of enemies at a time. With Path of Exile 2's beta coming around in 2024, it's the perfect year to jump into Path of Exile 1 and see what all the hype was about before Path of Exile 2 comes around. As promised, all of these games can be played for hundreds of hours for free, and hopefully you found one that you want to try. A special thank you to my YouTube members for keeping this channel going. To find out how to become a YouTube member, check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed the video, so be sure to like and sub for more MMO content. If you're still not sure what to play next, check out one of the videos on screen right now. See you in the next one.